up for Cyber Lunch. So catchy. Do, do, do. Do, 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 I actually went back on my keyboard and I tried to like figure out how to play it. I completely forgot. Dude, I was just thinking about like when we did that, when that first time you played that first, when we were sitting at Justin's house. I just, a matter of fact, I called it Cloud Groove because I wrote yeah. it in the airplane. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of gospel. Yeah. I don't even know. I don't know either. There's no, uh, it's Cyber Lunch. It's, it's a Cyber Lunch Definitive Edition. Right here, ninety nine, ninety five, baby. Welcome back, everyone. Well, it seems Google, our friends, our pals, is officially trying to take over the world with their new gaming platform. What is it called? Stagnant? Stagnia? Stadia? Oh, sta- sta- Stag- stag- Stabnia? <laughs> Stagnant. What is it? Stadia. Stadia. We'll get to that. that. Plural for uh, stadium. Everyone's favorite mug man and cup header coming to the Switch. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I like that. It's going to be fun to play on the go. I don't feel like ah, we got to get into that It'll be later. Good for handheld for sure. Yes and no, but I'll talk about that later. And then a game that you've played, and unfortunately I'm bitter, extremely bitter at you for playing this ahead of me just due to my uh, work circumstances. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Sekiro. Is that how you're really supposed to say it? Yeah, apparently. It's Mario or Mario. Let's get uh, let's get our story straight. I think it's English, I think. English or Japanese, I think. Is. I'm, well, I'm... A white male, so yeah. I'm gonna just say Sekiro. See, now, now I'm just confused. <laughs> Sekiro. 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 Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Somebody correct us, and if you don't care, it's a, it's fine. Uh, Sekiro Shadows Die. That's how I'm saying it. So whatever. Fuck you. Shakiro Shadows Die <laughs> twice. Shakiro <laughs> Shadow. Oh boy. Shakiro, sh- my hips don't lie. Volume yeah. one. Yeah, right. You're bitter at me for starting it. A little. I'm just jealous. Well, I wouldn't be. I'm just jealous because I want to get going. Yeah. Because I have been waiting for this game. You won't let me say anything about I'm it. I'm terrified. So. I'll let you say a few things, but I don't want you to spoil like the first two hours for anyone. It's because hard. it is so new. It's hard. That's what I'll say. That's what she said. We've got a lot to look forward to and a lot of catching up to do. Stick around this week in 20 questions where I go it alone to see. Oh, Should, he's now he's yeah, now you're going for the I forgot to pull it up here. Now you're going for the phone. Yeah, we're we're so. running a little hot here. I'm going to have to dial us down a little bit. That's a little bit better. We're so we're doing 20 questions. I'm doing it alone. And I've got a back of the box. It's I didn't want to see the, the thing with back of the boxes. I don't want to get too far down the rabbit hole and have you not know what the hell. Yeah game especially if you're by yourself i kind of feel like if you're by yourself you should get extra questions i don't know i mean you don't have a second mind to bounce off of no but 20 questions is a lot no i'm saying for back of the box we usually do five yeah because it's normally so obvious well we could do it do 10 or something i don't know i'm usually pretty good with movies but hmm oh so you looked at my notes Mm -mm. you know it's a movie oh it's a movie no, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> Liar! Liar. Stick around for that and much more. I'm Daryl. I'm Jake. I almost said I'm Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Justin! I'm used, to, used to hearing it. I know. Justin's got some family stuff going on, so we're just uh, doing We're rocking summer. it out. We, we love you guys. Time. Thank it's you. It's going to be very casual and kind of... Super cash. Bullshitty. I wore yeah. one of my uh, tuxedo t-shirts, so we're good to go. Welcome to Cyber Lunch. A bi-weekly, for now podcast we'll explain that shortly after that deals with nostalgia reflected and integrated into our everyday lives to growing up in a digital revolution plus a plethora of tangents and passionate discussions with special guests and our favorite music movies video games and television shows of the past and today bi-weekly meaning that we'll be recording bi-weekly but they should be releasing every week every week we're we might do just do like really long episodes maybe like we want to kind of do but split them in two but I, at the same time i don't want to let people hang in i mean week, to be honest we're just having a lot of scheduling conflicts yeah. week to week so it's been like kind of difficult to get everybody together because i work 
regular, you know, si- I work six to two fifteen, and everybody else works I work retail. Nights. Yeah, I work. Well, it's nights. just retail. That's just how fucking retail goes. Yeah. So it's just been a little bit difficult. So I think this is gonna hopefully alleviate things. And I know it's kind of annoying for you guys. I mean, would you rather? I mean, we you're you're the base of why we're doing this. So would you rather it be one long episode split into two parts? where it's kind of like a part one and part two every two weeks, or would you rather that we do like one week is kind of like what we've been playing, you know, regular banter. And then the next week is like more focused on games where it's, it will be a little shorter form. So say if we did that, I feel like it would be like 40 minutes each episode because normally we kind of shoot in the range of like a buck 15 to a buck 30, depending on how, the conversation's going and if we're drinking that night so yeah uh we'll leave it up to the listeners out there but if we don't hear back from you we'll do what we want pretty much we We just wanted to ask you first eric the bike man uh, he's not he's not gonna relegate how we broadcast i like eric he's our manager he could be he has to put some more work into it though he has to do 20 push-ups yep you gotta give me a list every week speaking of doing push-ups Ugh. We got into this beefy game, a real slimy, gross game in the RE engine, not to be confused with Resident Evil 2, which I was initially. Devil May Cry 5. Yeah, man. Both of us played and have completed it, thank God. I beat it yesterday, which is the day of Sekiro coming out, mm. so I was, I'm was i ready for that still, but uh, this game was stylish it's devil May super Cry. sexy stylish it's it's got the dmc weirdness you know that remake they did or the reboot they did uh ninja theory did that a couple years ago not a lot of people liked it but i loved it uh but it's wacky and it has that but it still has the devil may cry uh like controls schemes and uh all the familiar stuff you love but and new stuff it is so japanese anime yeah, but that it's, awesome. it's like you use a motorcycle as a means to cut demons up. Yep. I liked it because it was like 15 hours of just fun. It's just arcadey fun, and I can play through it again. Just because it went by so quick. It is arcadey. I did find it somewhat monotonous in some... Yeah, the the level design isn't the greatest. I would say so. Yeah. yeah. The creature design's good. It's super creepy, slimy, yeah. gross. Yeah. The bosses are all good. There's a good twist. I'm not going to spoil anything, of course, but I was like, oh, shit. Yep, all right. Me too. I was like, oh, okay. okay. All right. Here, Here we go. go. Yeah. Here we go, baby. Um, so basically, the game will rate you as you play it like an arcade game. And based on all the... So say like you attack an enemy. If you consistently t- attack an enemy with the same flurry of attacks, you won't receive that great of a score. Mm. You have to constantly switch up your game. And that means using uh, your Devil Breaker. Yep. Which is basically... It, depending on the character, because there's three separate characters. Depending on the character, you would use a Devil Breaker to use like your special. Yeah, it's I guess like a the, super. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's... um. It, it, the amount of co- content like fighting wise in there is ridiculous like i didn't even touch half the stuff like dante i think he has like six different styles plus he has the four four different subcategories of those styles like and you can switch them all on the fly i almost just spoiled something and i like caught myself i was like uh, 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 yeah yeah but those. it's like uh it's it's really 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 a good game if you've ever played devil may cry you're gonna like it. Cheers. Cheers to Friday. Cheers. We're having a little couple little uh two women. Yeah, two women. New Glaris. Yes. It's beer, not the real thing. Uh. Yeah. There we go. Um it's if you played any Devil May Cry or even had a thought of maybe trying it, this is you should definitely play this game. It's a third person action adventure yep. beat 'em up. Yep. Hack and slash. Hack and slash beat 'em up. This Over the, the top. The music is way over the top. Ridiculous. I didn't like that chick with the southern accent, though. Yeah, no, she dro- her teeth drove me nuts. Yeah, because she is out. She had like a beaver says, teeth. She Hot did. air. <laughs> and she was way over, way over exaggerated in a Texas uh, kind of talk she did. It's kind of like what the Japanese would probably think of. It reminds me, uh, think a uh, person from the south sounds like. It reminds me of that one gal from the beginning of Final Fantasy 15 as well that had yep. that southern accent. And it the, was super the, off-putting. Like, the garage. Yeah. Yep, yep. Hey, we can fix this car right up quick. Yeah, no problem. It doesn't fit, yeah, it doesn't fit in the it's unit, just like, like in what's going on. Who did your hair? Because it's not from Grey Clips. Yeah. Graphics, though. 
of De- Devil May Cry back swerving Wonderful. back on oh, the road. <clears throat> speaking of graphics, here we I go. Did, I did here we have, go. I had to. Uh, I had a little meltdown situation with my Xbox. Uh oh. Warning. Warning. Yeah. Warning. I don't. It didn't even say that. Uh, it was just like "fuck you, asshole." I'm not going to say it had anything to do with Anthem, but mm-hmm. it was kind of funny that it happened after I started playing Anthem. But anyway, uh, don't my you Xbox feel like that's just a conspiracy theory could at be. this point? Could be. It could be, but it could be. Um, so my Xbox One S melted. So Completely. I went, I went out and got a... Literally Xbox. lit on fire. No. Okay. No, it just stopped working. Hmm. Um, I went and got an Xbox One X. There you go. Joining the club, baby. That's what's up. Yep. And it was expensive, but I think it was worth it. And then you returned it because of Google. No. No. But graphically, just seeing stuff in a whole new light, especially I was playing Division 2, and the de- level of detail in the world is incredible like just as far as you can see there's detail it's amazing i i, I like that machine now i gotta get a 4k tv sometimes though. when there's detail there's just detail it's just and, it's and the, i see the details through the details and it's the best details no oh my god whoa well we're losing a cord one of our cords went bad yeah oh shit we're gonna have to take a break we're gonna have to take a break <laughs> oh shit look people this is not a joke. We were visited by an extraterrestrial force. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was summoned through Jake's arm. Yes. From his ancient it's like alien that, tattoos. What's that character that can use their tattoos as weapons? Science. No. Uh, it's funny that we said Anthem and our shit started breaking. <laughs> that is really scary, yeah, actually. Yeah, I'm just saying. My Xbox melts in. By the way, Anthem. Yeah. Uh, guys, we got to take a break. Another one. Anthem's back. Oh shit. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Um, I got rid of Anthem, by the way. Uh the Vision 2 of playing that, it's it's so funny how much it shits all over Anthem. Like the amount of content and detail and everything else in Division 2 on release compared to what the barren just barren nothing of Anthem is it's actually embarrassing. Like they really should be ashamed of themselves as far as I'm concerned. But that's me saying that from my kitchen and not knowing how to develop games and all that other thing. But I'm yeah. just saying, like, if you had six years, they made uh, Division Two II and Three in three years. Anthem, they use a lot of the same uh, assets, yeah, assets, yeah. But they, it's a whole new world, world, and it's completely full to the brim with detail. It's a new, fantastic point of view, right? I don't know the rest of that song. That's okay. Uh-huh. I'm just glad that this is all connecting into pieces that we didn't think would mm. all right but uh, anthem is an embarrassment don't waste your money on it by division join our clan fat kids that's a thing yes yes so in conclusion on devil may cry <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's awesome all. game that's an awesome game what would you give it out of 10 i would give it eight five it looks yeah. gorgeous, but I think yep. eight five is where it belongs for that sure. That one and a half points is just from take away from the the level design because it's. I think level way. design and then like not being able to choose your character on every mission. Yeah, but I see why they did it though. I see why they did it story. as well, but like sometimes I found it annoying that I had to play as a particular character. Like just when I was getting my rhythm going with like Dante, mm. which is who I truly wanted to play as in the first place. Mm. So all the other characters are fun though. They all have something very unique that's that's enjoyable. I even I was, like that new character, V. He was cool. Um, I found myself kind of bored. Yeah, but with that, v. well, the combat was fun, but it was slow going because he had, he's, you know, he's slower. And I'm going to read a book and look mm-hmm. over there. It's a chair yeah. with a bear. He reads poetry to enhance. His two shadow companions, which is a raven and a panther. Three shadow companions. Oh yeah, and the golem. Yeah, what is it called? The Nightmare. Oh, yeah, The Nightmare. <clears throat> it's good, though. I like it. It's worth way worth playing. What's your number? 8-7. I'm going to go slightly better than an 8-5, because 8-5 feels just like... Yeah, it's good, but whatever. It's it's above 8-5 to me, but not, not it can't be a 9, because the, just the level design wasn't where it should be. Everything okay. else was great about it, though. Well, I feel like you skimmed over a lot of Division 2. I mean... What do you mean? I don't know. Like, I have slight interest in that game now that I see that the bullet sponginess has gone away. Mm-hmm. But it, again, it's a sixty dollars asking price for something that. Yeah, but all the DLC this first year is free too. I know, but do I really? It's just kind of one of those things. Like, 
do I want to dedicate all that time? I mean, it's up to you. I, it's it's a replacement for Destiny for me because I got a bunch of friends that play it right now. I suppose so. It's just when you're so far behind, it's kind of like man, you know, like I, ah. I have to tell you though, I've almost found more enjoyment playing the Division Two by myself through the the campaign. And I heard it's everything. far more difficult. Oh yeah, it's really hard, but it's more rewarding i think and just because you're learning this world by yourself because you're an agent that just got called up like hey shit's going down and you're supposed to be like you know discovering what the hell is going on and i feel like it's it's better by yourself and then once you get everything open and you want to game with your friends and go do missions or strikes and blah 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 it's a lot of fun having said that though playing through with three of my buddies matt and jason <clears throat> uh doing missions and stuff it, incre- it increases the difficulty by like tenfold but it's fun and it's there. All the levels are cool. The whole, Washington D.C. as a whole, as how it's designed, is st- is really stunning in many many parts. We're in the National History American History Museum. Yeah, I heard there's a lot of history in this game. Yeah, Fun you can and literally tended. walk up to the Lincoln Memorial and read the plaque. Like it's it, that detail. You just go up to it and like you can literally just look at it. It's not all thing. pixelated like PS One. No, no, it's crazy. Where all the newspapers have the same clipping. Yep. Creepy pastas. But it's good. It's really, really good. I highly recommend that game. If you're, like I said, if anybody that even lo- liked the first division a little bit, it, you're gonna love this because it's a quality of life uh, improvement over the last one. It's still division like you knew it, but there's just some improvements on it that are huge. So it's I I love it. I have to say that lightning has just struck my brain, hmm. and I've invented a million dollar idea. Oh boy, you ready for it? Sure. It is a restaurant, a horror themed restaurant called Creepy Pasta. A horror? Horror. Oh. A horror. A horror. A horror's light. Creepy Pasta. That's a good one. I like that actually. So, like, the people would have to like be dressed up in prosthetics. Oh, don't do that to your workers. That's so Why? stupid. We'd pay them good. Nah. We're going to sell this to rich people. I... Okay. Yeah. So, it's going to be like, it's going to look like a bunch of body parts behind there, but they're actually like edible. Like candy. We're and perhaps pasta. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if we can get to the pasta part. Maybe it's like a sit down Italian place. I haven't worked out all the kinks, but investors, if you're listening, I think it'd be cool. Let's to invest be together. Creepy pasta and have just the lighting right inside. You know, just dark and just like background music and stuff as you're in there. Just kind of that would be kind of cool. And then somebody just comes up behind you and said, "Ben drowned." Yeah, red Rob. Hey, there's something we never address on this, and uh, I feel like it's somewhat nar- narcissistic of me to say, but uh, I'm engaged now. Oh, yeah. We said that, didn't we? No. Gay Puri? We didn't say anything about Gay Puri? I swear we talked about it. No. No. Yeah. Well, I knew it, so I already said congratulations, but congratulations. Thank you. I just wanted to tell our listeners that. It's the last of us. You're the, you were the last it is. of us. It is. Not anymore. Yep. I am now Ellie playing guitar. <laughs> yeah. I, for, yep. for better or worse oh, i will good. be kissing a girl in a cut scene so we'll see how that goes mm-hmm. that's good good shit thank you yeah thank you speaking of last of us uh rumors are slated that this might get a 2019 october release i'm assuming so oh my I, god i feel like it should oh my god oh my god this is gonna force me to buy it twice just like everybody else did for the ps3 to ps4 i knew it was gonna come out on ps4 here's my thing though it was gorgeous on ps4 what do you mean? Do I really? Well, Last of Us remastered. I know, and that was made for PS3. So remember that. That's what I mean. So this with it be being first... made for PS4, yeah, yeah. it's gonna look great. Look how God of War looked. It's I know. Gonna, it's gonna it's be a stupid. smaller world than that. It's gonna be stupid. It's, it's yeah. yeah. Ugh. I know. I so just so you know, when you're done with it, I want to be. I want to borrow that. <sighs> That's ten dollars a minute. I almost bought a ps4 pro because i knew that was coming but then i'm like i won't be able to play games with anybody that i normally play with so you probably play with me i don't know what i'm gonna do with my playstation but i never liked the playstation uh network and anything like that uh some of it's okay but janky i feel like i would like to get the playstation pro version of the last of us 2 i feel like it'd be worth it i don't know how much more improvement the regular ps4 pro is I heard it just like checkerboards 4K, like it's not even true 4K. You know, I don't know. It's weird. That is true because the regular PS4 is capable of HDR. Yes. So. Yeah, there was an update for that. 
Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think it would. Be, I don't think you need to worry because Last of Us is more of a um, story anyway. It's brutal. Yeah, it's one of my favorite games of all time. It's hard to say that because it's just so, ugh, ugh, so story. It's great. It's heavy. Yes. It's, it's a very, real heavy it's boulder. Stressful. It's a stressful game and story. Do you have like witches in your closet? Where, what the, are you talking about? I hear women talking. Well, TV, I think, is on still. Oh, God damn it, Jake. Sorry. God. It's just NCAA is in the background. <sighs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. I'm working through Resident Evil right now. Yes. Thank you, God, for buying that game because yeah. it is so good. It is so good, and you're not even halfway through it, which I find humorous i'm but. taking my time but i you know what i'll probably finish leon's story tonight i'm probably gonna, i'm gonna when you leave i'm gonna probably grind on that today i just i just want to i'm trying to play through 100 percent. i want to find everything so like say this is the game you're like right here yeah. and this is the end like you're just about to the middle point where i remember i remember in the original when you're in the garage park and stuff it just looks so different it's so crazy to see old areas like fully realized <laughs> the first time i walk through into the the Share, or the uh, oh, shit. police department and it was like the fully realized area I had seen so many times and what's his name that first character you meet you're trying to help out oh my god Leon Glenn, no, no Glenn or something what is it Howard <laughs> it's Howard <laughs> anyway police guy and I remember that first time you meet him and he's slumped up against the wall you know when he dies and stuff like that and it was it's so epic then to see it completely redone is amazing the whole dog part when you had to go through the kennel, it was like stress. You're just what about like, the liquors, Jesus, dude? Jesus, Jesus. I, those don't bother me as much because I just, you just walk past them. Kind of, but if they like, they can sniff you out, and then if they touch you, it's on. Mm. Like They're, Donkey Kong. I mean, you can still kill them at least. Yeah, that is true. But the ammo is very uh, scarce. Very scarce right now. So one thing, one tip I will give you, and this is not a spoiler for the game if you have not played it yet. But there's an animation where if you get near a zombie, they're gonna get, they're gonna lunge for you mm-hmm. most times. So if you time it right and you get good at it, when a zombie goes for you, you can kind of see them like lock on you and then go for you for it like with their arms out. Yeah. You run away from them, they get stuck in that animation. You can run right around them. Oh, that would have been some knowledge I could have used. Oh, there you go. You just upgraded. It's Zelda. Mm. Yeah, thank you. I do love it though. It's it's familiar but new. That's what I love about it, and it's done so well. I haven't had anything broken in the game. Like it's never like glitched or frame rates never dropped. I don't see pop in everywhere. It's like it's done. It's it's uh, good on you, Capcom. That's all I gotta say. It is the game of the year. Well, I don't know about that. Yet. I don't think Doom could take game of the year. Honestly, in essence, not playing it. I am predicting right now that if Last of Us does not come out this year, Sekiro will take Game of the Year. Uh, to the critics, just, critics probably, but just me playing it right to now, the I critics, it's not going to be my game. Of but the I'm year. saying, <clears> like, <throat> unless it a, proli- me. a prolifically difficult game like this usually fares well with critics and fans alike, especially like with the Bloodborne. Bloodborne, with the style, was just so awesome, though. That's the thing I loved about Bloodborne. I liked the setting and the way it felt. It just felt grimy. And it was hard, but once you got to learn it, it was it, everything made sense. Like it was such a well done game. The controls, everything. Remember that dude you had to fight in the graveyard? Gascoin? Oh. That fight almost took it Do out of me. Do you know the the trick with that one? Yeah, I, I well, I mean I play, you can tell it, but I I played over and over and over and over. That's like the only trick I know, so it's the the stun part. You have to stun them at just the right time. Don't no, you? you get a item, the music box. And oh you, yeah, you play it. And you, yeah, you can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. So awesome. But it it was uh, infuriating. But once you did it, there was such a, a, a you know sense of accomplishment. You're like hell yes. Like the first that night you fight on the bridge. It's the first boss, and he's so easy later on. But the first time you beat that giant crazy thing in front of you, it was fun. I haven't got to that in secure Sekiro. Yet, but uh, I'm still way early in the game. I think I'm on the second area. I got the Ninja Stars. I got you've, uh, you've seen uh, pictures of all this uh, stuff. I don't want to hear weapons. It. I got three of them. That's how far I am. Okay, so it's all right. I'm not sad. 
So I'm not but sad I at did all. turn it off today. I started playing it today and I got to a part and I'm just like, fuck this. I just shut it off and started playing something else. So sometimes get, that's how that shit goes. Yeah, it's one of those games. But I'll get in the mood one night and I'll start playing it and something will click, just like Bloodborne, because I could not do Bloodborne and then before I knew it, I was quite proficient in in everything with that game. So Where the hell is this goddamn remote at? What remote? For the TV. It's right in front of you. Where? Right over the top of your Oh, fuck. What are you what are you doing here? Okay, so there's this indie game that oh. I bought and it's on PC and Switch. God damn this thing. Sorry guys, just hang on for a second. Daryl's doing technical work in the middle of the show. Yeah. I'm kinda We're two handed here, so I am. This game is called Baba Is You. Now, this game is based on it, from what I'm told programming languages like algorithms Hmm. so i'm gonna pull it up for you here but basically the best way to describe it is uh say flag it it has different oh my god this game is like the hardest game i think i've ever had to describe on air okay so there's words baba is you is one statement that is true in the love it's a top down like you're a rabbit and you're pushing little things around so baba is you on the screen you can take Baba is you. You can take the you away. You literally take your character and you push that word out of the way. Then you lost. Huh. So then it will say, it will give you rules on the screen. It will say like flag is win, rock is uh, push, and uh, water is sink. And you would have to, you can figure it out. Or wall, wall you can like move it to where like wall is you. And you would literally become the wall and then you lose. Hmm. So you have to figure out different puzzles and each level has different ways to figure it out with like secret blah, 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 blah. It's very intriguing. I, and it's very rare nowadays to play a game, especially an indie game in some ways, even though that they have the most diverse range of material out there and play something that's like pretty refreshing for a puzzler. Where it's like, this is cute, this is fun, I can sit here and just kind of stare at it and analyze it. And it gets my mind off of other things and it's like, just kind of relaxing anyway. Mm -hmm. There's like, kind of downbeat, like weird funky music and doesn't get too repetitive or like annoying. Granted, I've only played it for like a half hour to an hour, but I'm really enjoying it so far. Nice. I'll have to to check it out. Yeah, I'm trying to pull it up right now, but uh, Jake, tell me what you've been watching lately. Well, I do that. I haven't been watching anything. I've been playing video games. That's it. Yep. You haven't watched any movies. No, I got Division Two. Um, but I played the crap out of that, and then Resident Evil, and been playing the crap out of that. And now well, Sekiro came out, so I've been playing that too. Uh, uh, mostly, I've just had like sports on in the background while I'm playing. You know, watching NCAA's, watching the Gophers win. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've watched anything, to be honest with you. That's what happens mm. when you get caught up in that wonderful rotation of gaming. Yeah, that's the point. God, what else have I been playing? Oh, uh, Undertale's sequel called Delta Rune. It mm-hmm. came out for free on the Switch. And uh, it's really creepy mm. so far. Never played that first one. In my personal opinion. Let's see here. I hope this doesn't play noise for all of our guests out there. I've kind of uh, slowed down in Apex, too. I haven't been playing Apex at all. So this is a better way to describe. Everybody out there, go into YouTube. Type in Baba's U. B-A-B-A. Interesting. It is very interesting. Hmm. Apex, I've actually been, like, hankering to play it. Especially, like, I've been playing by myself and just seeing how far I can get. Mm. Like, especially, like... I'm not that guy that trails off, but I am like, I'll, I'll stick with somebody, but if they like die or they're, they're a dickhead, like I'm not coming back for you yeah, and yeah, I just yeah. try to survive on my own. No, I, I think about it all the time, but I just, I'm, like I said, it's just, I'm busy right now with other stuff. I'm sure I'll go back to it. I mean, it's always there. Their new, uh, their season pass just came out or their battle pass or whatever for 10 bucks. And yeah. Could, yeah. I heard about yeah, that. Gives you a new character and then uh, Oc- Octane, you, Octane or yeah gives you rewards based on what level you're at okay stuff like that so that's it, it looks cool i mean I'll, I'm, I'll i'll come back it's just 
I'm really busy right now. And I know. Mortal it, Kombat's coming out well, the, and everything else. So. The thing is that you played a lot of that game, too. I did. I played that game a lot for the first couple of weeks that it was out. Every night I was playing with somebody until quite early in the morning. That's okay. So. That's what free-to-play games are all about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you just go away and then you come back. It's one that's always sitting there. You know what still disappoints me more is that Black Ops is just sitting there on my Xbox. I never play it just because Apex. I'd rather play Apex if I go to one of those kind of games. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'll go back to it. Here we go. There's a new Mario Party coming out? Oh, it's already out. Oh. It's not great. Oh, really? Apparently, a lot of people like to hate on Mario Party. There's a you. There's a new Yoshi's Island Crafted World coming out next Friday. It's mm-hmm. very... It's uh, very cute. That's the way to put it. It doesn't look very challenging, and that's okay. Some You know, sometimes you just like to turn your brain off and... There's a lot of hidden secrets in this new one, though, and it looks very fun. And there's a co-op. I feel like co-op and platformers is probably one of the hardest things you can possibly do. Yeah. Because I was playing that with uh, Betsy, and we were playing Super Mario U co-op. I would just be... It, it'd be too much. Mm. Either I'm bouncing off her into the lava or vice versa. See, I have a problem with uh, Smash Brothers for that same reason. I get confused with what character I am. You know what I mean? Like, I just have a hard time following it around when there's so much mayhem going on. In this I game. know. Colors and mayhem. And it, I don't even think it would help if you, like, outlined your character in, like, a certain color. Yeah, I don't think it would help. There's just so much going on. Plus, it would make it look really weird. Yeah. Like, you're He-Man. Yeah. I don't know. Make it first-person mode. <laughs> What's that He-Man meme? What's going on? Oh, it's that one music. In Dicey. It's that uh, music video. What the hell is it? I'll look it up here. Oh my god! What else do you so want? Stupid. What else have you been playing? Dude? I've been watching PK Blinders. If you haven't seen PK Blinders, good show. You should watch PK Blinders, but not around the kids, or if you have heart problems, or if you. Yeah, it's pretty pretty much like Game of Thrones. Got together with gangs in New York and had a baby. That's the best way to put yeah, it. Yeah, it's it's a good show. It's about Irish. There's there's not dragons. No, nope. no dragons. No, nope. it's Irish uh, immigrants back in the day. Uh, some big names are in it. You got Tom Hardy, Sam Neill as the protagonist or antagonist. Yep, and uh, what's his name? Cillian uh, Murphy. Yep, as uh, Thomas like, Shelby. Have you watched all the seasons? Oh, this is that Heat Man song, but it's. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. The video is just so crazy. Oh, my it's just God, ridiculous. dude. Yes. And I don't know even who's singing this. Like, I don't know who's doing this. It's probably Dr. Disrespect. I, well, it's Four Non Blondes is the group that sang this song, but I don't think this is them at all. I think it's some some person that made this video saying Yeah, this, probably. It's it's just wacky. But anyway, copyright strike. Copyright. We're over. We're shut down, people. It's over. <laughs> Forever. Well, that didn't take very long. No, not at all. Mm. Let's see. What a, well, I bought First Man on 4K. I haven't opened it yet. Oh, is it that uh, moon thing? One thing I did watch, surprisingly, is uh, it was really good and funny, especially if you like games. Is Ralph Breaks the Internet. I haven't seen the first one. I don't like the first one. I feel like you don't need to, really. You just have to know that that small child thing is, like, best friends with Ralph. Mm. That's it. The first one's weird. I think it gets kind of creepy, in my personal opinion. But I like the idea that all the ar- arcade machines are, like, connected and they, like, hang out when they're turned off. Yeah, that's kind of a cool idea. It's like Tron. Pretty much, yeah. Like I've well, Tron's time. in that game. Oh, really? Or in that movie, yeah. The well, second one, at least. Yeah, of course yeah. it is. Um, Spider-Verse came out, too. I should probably watch that, huh? I bought it on digital. Yeah. And digital. I bought Aquaman, too. Did you really? Yeah. Wow. Did you see that in the theater? No, I watched it on my nice TV at home uh, was it, with a pause button. Is it worth watching? It's really fun. Yeah. It's stupid. Mm-hmm. It's real stupid. It gets real dumb, but it's also fun. It's real dumb fun, and in 4K, I'm just like, wow, yeah, looks really looks really, good. really good. And I don't like shit that's underwater. I don't like any of that. No, I made it through just fine. Mm. 
It's Office just theme. like the, the dialogue parts are just like super cheese. Yeah, of course. Times 10. Yeah, of course. Oh my God, dude. Well, it's DC, so they can't hire anybody to write actual good dialogue. Yeah, Nicole Kidman was in it. She's old now. Look behind you. Look be- oh, cool. I'm smoking the... Oh, that's the, weird. And the light, light laser coming through the window. <laughs> I gotta watch Spider Verse though too. Everybody tells me I'm missing out, but I think it's really funny. It's witty. It's written well. Um, some of it's kind of weird and goes off the rails, but for the most part, I've seen it twice now and I really enjoy it. And it's kind of one of those movies that you can just like put on and like, I don't know, you know, have it on the background if you're like tinkering with your phone or just want to put it on and like kind of watch the beginning and doze off or you know what I mean. Just have one of those lazy days and that's what. Uh, yeah, I'll check it out. I pretty much use it for, but. Uh, I've never been a Spider-Man guy too much, really, but Homecoming is good, and you know, I'll watch it. I gotta watch Aquaman too, just because Aquaman, Aquaman. is gonna be good, or it was good, in my John, opinion. John Wick Three is gonna be better. Oh my god, I can't wait! I'm not watching that second oh, trailer. No, I'm not gonna third. do it. It's the, the third. Yeah, that's what I meant. Anybody out there wants to see it? Watch it, Eric. Watch that trailer. It makes it makes me giggle just because I can't wait. It's There's, gonna be so good. There's a film that's just come out recently, and it's by Gaspar Noé, and it's called Climax. I've heard of it, I think. Stand by, listeners. There it is right there. Climax movie. But I, I hope this pops up what it's supposed to pop up when you type that in on my computer. Right. Or on my internet. Let's see. So pretty much, Gaspar No 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 Way, Irreversible. That movie's horrible. Never seen it. Into the Void. Enter the Void. I've seen that. Hypnotic, hallucinatory, and ultimately hair-raising depiction of a party that descends into delirium over the course of one wintry night. Hmm. In climax, a troop of young dancers gathers in a remote and empty school building to rehearse. Following an unforgettable opening performance lit by virtuoso cinematographer Benoit Deby, Spring Breakers in the Void, and shot by Noah himself, the troupe begins an all-night celebration that turns into a nightmarish... That turns nightmarish as the dancers discover they've been pounding cups of sangria laced with potent LSD. Oh my god. No? It's like a Mandy 2 or... Tracking their journey from jubilation to chaos and full-fledged anarchy, Noah observes crushes rivalries and violence amid a collective psychedelic meltdown. Starring not a lot of people you know, honestly, and a cast of professional dancers, Climax is Noah's most brazen and visionary statement yet. A24. A24 Studio. I'm pretty much down with whatever they bring out, so... This one, you should not take the kids, it seems. No, no. I've heard some spoilers of what goes on in this movie. Oh, my God. Yeah. This is the new Requiem for a Dream right here. Oh. That's what this is. Okay. In my personal opinion, that's I've watched a lot of reviews on YouTube and shit like that, and that's what people are saying, like, new Requiem right here. Hmm. This is Darren Aronofsky's rival. I don't know. I wish Justin would be here to protest that. I don't know. He's, he's the film buff. So. I like Requiem. That's one of my... It's on the list. There's of nothing to like about it, though. I can't watch it. Yeah, it's a movie I love, but I can't watch it. It's just, no. It's tough. It's just a whole bunch of no. It's like kids. It's kind like a movie of. I've seen and experienced, and it was great, but I can't I can't watch it. I mean, look what it's rated R for. I know. Disturbing content. Involving a combination of drug use, violent behavior, and strong sexuality. And for language, and some graphic nudity. So not only is there strong sexuality, but graphic nudity as well. I hear the camera's all fucked up, like it goes upside down and like just makes you uncomfortable. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, that's what I want. Anyways, it looks intense, and it is playing at one theater near my house, so I was like kind of considering it, but I'm just asked for it. Uh, I'll just wait for it on for digital and just rent it one day, whatever. It's probably going to be extremely uncomfortable It'll be watch. On Netflix soon. It's A24. I know you're not a big fan of Jordan Peele, but I'm going to go see his new movie Saturday. I already bought tickets, so we'll see. We'll see. I, I mean, people are saying that it's better than Get Out. So I've heard it's not as good. I don't know. I hear everything. Who cares? Go see it. If That's you like what it, I'm thinking. Like I'm so sick of reviews. I don't care anymore. 
I'm just going to play it or watch it. And if I like it, I like it. I don't know why I'm listening to somebody else tell me if I'm going to like it or not. Well, then why should they listen to us? Well, they don't have to. We just bullshit, though. Yeah, I'm just saying what I, I'm not, you know, I sometimes I recommend things for people, but most times I just tell you how I think about the thing. Hence the hour and a half. You know what I recommend for you? What's that? 10 cc's of cheesesteak. I had, no, I just had a ham, bacon ham. Cheese yeah, thank bacon. you for that. I forgot my wallet. On a Friday night, I'm rushing out the door, and I forgot my goddamn wallet. So Jake was Good gracious. Job, Jake was gracious enough to carry me this evening. I will be paying him back. I swear to God. It's all good. Oh, all right. Uh, should we take a break real quick, and then we'll do our 20 questions and whatever? Because be honest with you, I have a belly full of burger and a couple of beers, and it's a crisp breeze blowing through my window. I really kind of feel like a nap. I know, right? <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, yeah, let's take a break and so I can slap myself around a little bit. All right. Wake up a little bit. We'll be right back. <laughs> you know, those Fridays you get off work and you sit down and maybe you eat, maybe you don't. And, uh, it just all hits you. Yes. Where it's like somebody just put the slow down button. Yep. We have no energy whatsoever. Yep. You can barely lift your legs almost. Jake and I are kind of in a coma. We had (sighs) giant hamburgers before we came on this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Both kind of looking at each other like. French fries and new glares. Like, I'm about ready to put the golf channel on. You know know what I'm saying? Like, you know what it feels like is a cabin day, like when it's cold, too cold out to go on the boat. It's beautiful, though. It is, but I'm just saying it has like that crisp feeling and we've started drinking beer at like noon and you just want to go to bed by like two you wake up at like 5 30 in the morning no in the afternoon and like stare at the tv for the rest of the night until you go back to bed again oh i love that yeah i know it's i haven't done that in a long time a mm. long time all right so i'm gonna try my hand at this i'm not sure how this is gonna go ladies and gentlemen <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you I'm uh, running on very few hours of sleep at this point. Uh, Give me a little theme song. Though. This week in 20 questions. Nice. It's like a, like the more you know kind of thing. Yeah. The more you know. Eight years ago. Wow. Cr- crisis 2. Crisis. Crisis. Mm-hmm. Crytek engine. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Who was the developer? Uh, Crytek. Yeah. They made their own engine well, the, and their God own game. I'm such an idiot. Uh, 14 years ago on the PlayStation 2. Actually, wait a second. That was my question. So that's how tired I am right now. Uh, 23 years ago on the ra- ra- uh, original PlayStation. Sta- uh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> We're breaking down over here, people. Yeah. It's uh, not good. Resident it, Evil. The first one. Yeah, 1996. Um, Lego Star Wars 3. Eight years ago. All right. All right. Seven years ago, Devil May Cry HD collection. I actually uh, own that at that point in time, I believe. Three years ago on the PlayStation 4 Bully. Does that sound right? Uh, I, I got Bully about halfway old. through that game. I don't know. I f- felt it was good, but it was very clunky. Mm. I don't know. 22 years ago, Final Fantasy 4. I never played 4. I I get them confused because when they brought them over here, they got them all mixed up. So like three is six or something like that. I don't even know. Hmm. Hurts my brain to think about it. It's like the witness. Go ahead. Mass Effect Andromeda is only two years old. Oh, seems, really? Seems longer than that, doesn't it? It does. I remember where and what I was doing when that game came out. It's weird. Go Tw- ahead. 12 years ago. Yep. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. 12 years ago? 12 years ago. Didn't that debut on the original PlayStation? No, Symphony of the Night was Xbox 360. Oh. <laughs> well, duh. Yeah, duh. God. Uh, 13 years ago, Elder Scrolls El- Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. I liked Elder Scrolls. I didn't like Oblivion, though. Just oh. What else? Four years ago, Mario Party 10. Does that do anything for you? No. Yeah, me either. Ah. Uh, 25 years ago, Super Metroid. 
I love that game. Mm-hmm. I remember playing it, and I couldn't even get past the first level. I just got killed by the raindrops right at the beginning. I was horrible at that game. Mm. Like, seriously, this game is so difficult right now. I don't remember that game. At- oh, it's more, it was more of a scroller, though, wasn't it? Or like a platformer, kind of? Both. Yeah. I was going to uh, say Metroidvania, and I'm just going to be like, well, good night, folks. We're done. Yeah, We're, it's over. I, I know. <laughs> it's over. It's, it's happening. My brain is shutting off. Um... Bloody Roar, 17 years Dude, ago. if they came back with a new Bloody Roar, I'd be all about that shit. That was a good game. God. 11 years ago, Hot Shots Golf. I love Hot Shots Golf. Mm-hmm. I've had such good times with Hot Shots Golf. That's a game I was able to coax my both my parents into playing. I'm like, literally, all you have to do is press X at a certain time. That's all you have to do. Yep. Golf games are awesome. Tiger Woods games were always good. Then they took it away because you got to driver thrown I really space. like I really I really like uh everybody's golf a lot yeah I've heard that's pretty good is that the new hot shots pretty much pretty much yeah it's on PS4 is it on Xbox no sorry lost me I know uh 14 years ago time splitters future perfect yes oh my god I love this game so much yeah, remember that I remember the Egyptian stage Oh, I remember the 1970 stage where you're a sniper and you're yep. going into a subway. Yeah. And the haunted house level. Yep. Where you play as that like chick with the half like crop top shirt yep. with the shotguns and like the deer zombies. Mm-hmm. Dude, that game is so epic and it goes into World War Two. Yep. Oh man. It goes through the future, past, present, everything. Did the mobster remember the 50s mobster part? Yeah. Yep. Notre uh, Dame. Notre Dame. Yep. We you know, just told you the whole game, pretty much. Yeah, not I mean, out of excitement. Oh, it's dude, just, it's, it's so good. I wish that somebody would come back and make that remake that game. I think that's I. I don't. That's it. That's all I got. I got your game. You got here. We go. You got twenty questions. This game was made in two thousand five. Fourteen years ago. So it would be three six zero. Yeah, it's like it's 360, PlayStation 2, Nintendo, what is it, GameCube, right, at that time? Borderline Wii. Whatever. 2005. Yeah, whatever. All right, here we go. Daryl, you're all by yourself. All right, Daryl, are you ready? I'm ready. We're going to team out together, and with our powers combined, Ooh. we will win this week in 20 questions. It is quite a heavy beer. I think I it? know why they call it Oofta. Oofta. It's like when you have, take a drink of it, you're like, Oof, Oofta. Ugh. It's good. I like it. I don't know if I like it or not. I do. That might be the first thing I didn't like. It's kind of dry. A little dry. Um, is this a Nintendo game? No. Are there sequels? Yes. All right, multiple sequels. Is it multi-platform? No. Is it Xbox? No. So it must be PlayStation. Is it PlayStation? Well, yeah. Yeah. Five questions down. That's all right. Is it a racing game? No. Is it a sports game? No. Is it uh, multiplayer? No. Not a multiplayer. Is it third person? Yeah. It is? I think so, yeah. Okay. Is it an action game? Yes. Okay. Ten questions down. Uh, do you play as a female? No. Okay. Is it a shooter? No. Not a shooter. Hmm. Third person PS2, I would believe. Uh, is it licensed? Like a franchise. I, I know you always dude, get fucked up with this question. I'm going to ban that fucking question. No, dude. you yes. cannot ban that question. So what is, do you mean it? Does it go on? Well, obviously it has sequels. It's on the PlayStation. So okay, I'm gonna say yes this time because every time I say no, I'm wrong. So I'll just say yes. Okay. Uh, is it developed in Japan? No. All right, because I was thinking like Capcom, like turn-based. It's an adventure game. Well, is it turn-based? No. Okay. Fifteen questions. That's all right. Uh, I'm not doing that great this week. It's kind of hard by yourself. Yeah. I'm just throwing shit out there. Uh, ad- adventure game. Hmm. <laughs> no shooting. That's the thing that's kind of hanging me up right now. It's a brawler. Was it a launch title? I couldn't answer that. I don't remember. Okay. So we can just rescind that. Yeah. Um, 
Is it a brawler? Yeah. God, the bouncer. That's a launch title. I'm trying to think of what else is a brawler. Well, what am I at right now? You got four left. We have four left because I want to. Well, you have three questions left, and then you have to guess. Um, third person. It's a brawler. So is it a fighting game? Like Street Fighter? Is that what you're talking? Yeah. No. Okay. Wow. You play as a ninja? No. Fuck. I thought it was Shinobi. Uh, you got two left. I got two left. Okay. Hmm. The multiples. I have to think about multiples, and it's a brawler. The that's the two key things on the PlayStation. Ah, uh, the this is my best shot that I can do, in my opinion. Do you fight like a massive amount of people at a time? N- massive? No. No. So now I have to guess. I'm gonna get this wrong, but is it, it Dynasty Warriors? No. God damn. God of War. God damn it. Third person brawler. That's all he does is brawl. God, I'm so... <clears throat> I pick all the obscure, stupid shit. Well, you burnt up three questions asking every single system. <laughs> so, the first... It, I had no one to, <laughs> across the table to tell me no. But as, I had no one to tell me no this time. As a general rule of thumb, you ask, like, is it exclusive? And then you try to... And then you then you try Dude, to Dude, I'm straight like, Jesus, take the wheel right now. <laughs> I like, know, I'm so tired, too. <laughs> I'm like... I'm getting giddy. I'm trying. Like, I'm getting giddy. I'm doing the best I can here. Like those tireds when you used to start giggling, and you couldn't stop laughing, just because you, you almost get high because you're so freaking tired. Hey... Uh, before we get, I think we'll do back of the box to end it out. That's okay. what we're going to do this week, which is coming up real soon. We, we are unfortunately running out of time. We love you so much. Google. I mean, we have all the time in the world. I'm running out of time. We're we're all running out of yes. time. Google's new platform. Yes. Starcadia. Stadia. All right. Basically. Streaming service. That's what it's going to be. But the big thing that is in question, I've listen to many interviews and watch the keynotes or listen to the keynote speech. And, uh, basically we're all in question as to how much is it going to cost My question, and how much bandwidth there is, yeah, is going to take up how much buffering is going to happen when you're trying to play a game because that will, nothing will kill the mood of playing a game more than stopping. Like I, I mean, even when they were demonstrating it, there was a couple buffer wheels popped up and I don't want that in my game. I don't want it. But Sorry. you can play it anywhere. Don't care. Don't need it anywhere. I just. It's a, it. I feel like it's a soldier boy way to play your like premium games. I just. I, Meaning like it's just like a shitty version of it right now. I mean I I like where their heads at. I like the technology and the ambition, but at the same time I don't want to corner the market where we just completely obliterate physical media. Well, not even that. It's the fact of I don't need to play my video games anywhere I go. I I. I have a spot for that. You know what I mean? That's me. A lot of people might want to stream it, but I'm not down with streaming. I guess if I had to travel a lot, it'd be tight. Like, it'd be cool. Yeah, like, I can see it. I mean, if you could get it. Yeah, I mean, it, I can see it. But to me, it should be more of a handheld thing then, wouldn't you think? Like, if it was a, if it was a streaming service for the, on the go, it'd be more like a Switch or something. Yeah. But I want to own my games. I don't want to, if the internet's down, not be able to play it. You know what I mean? We shall see that's what we have to Look, say about if the that. internet's off i can still play like at least five of my games if that internet's off you ain't playing anything on that stadia so that's my whole thing yeah just think about when skynet takes over Google. right or just wait till an emp goes off <sighs> candles are gonna go off the shelves so quickly just like the olden days and bullets and bullets yep and uh, chuck wagons. Yeah, and cereal or some stupid shit. And probably like uh, tuna pâtés. Mountain Dew. Cheese wheels. Wheat thins. Thin wheats. There you go. All right, everybody. We are reaching critical, critical, critical mass, mass, mass. The end. I don't know if I'm going to be able to is near. play any Resident Evil even. I'm so freaking tired. It's weird. Welcome. See what we do for you people? We do all the push-ups with our face. We sometimes do it every week. And we sometimes do whatever we do. And sometimes we put everything into it that we can. 
in other times schedules. But we're here. We're here and now. We're here. I don't think there. we haven't really missed a week, have we? I don't think we have. Maybe one. A few. It was a scheduled one, I think. Okay. A few. Our listeners will let us know. Trust me. At this point, at, I don't. I don't. At, care. I don't at really this care. point. At this point. Are you ready for the back of the box? I am. Hang on, I gotta pull it up. I think at the back of the box you should do like categories. And you, you know what I mean? Like I'll this. try to refine it. This week was panic, a panicked rush. It's all good. I'm gonna cut out certain key words. Yes. You have three questions this week. Three? Because I feel like... I should at least get five. I mean, it's five when there's two of us here. Well, then you get three. That's bullshit. I still gave you 20. I should give you 15 questions. You still would have got it wrong. Fine, I'll give you five. (laughs) Fine, I will give you five. Get ready to face off against bug-like aliens. Again, in the sequel to Blank, Blank was released in 1981 and is just as popular and beloved as its predecessor, but it kicks it up a notch with even more awesome space-tastic features. That's it? That's the whole thing? 1981. Bugs. 81. <laughs> I want this. I want to sample that. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Space, space, space. 81. 81. Dang. Um, that, well, I, guess, I suppose I should narrow it down. Is this a movie? No. Okay, so it's a game. Bugs sequel. And I feel like if we do choose a book, we should say that it's a book, but it's probably not going to be guessed. So it's got to be if kind of a like book, a. I'm, fi- I'm not. Gonna well, it could be like Fight Club. Oh sure. Oh sure. Um. Eighty one. Nineteen eighty one and Bugs. Sequel. Game. And personally, the only hint I'll give you is that I love this game, but I did not know it was a sequel. Until I read the back of the box. Hmm. Personally. Maybe that's common knowledge. I don't think I'm going to get this. My brain is hurts right now. It's is so it a... Uh, ni- and you said 1981? Yeah. Holy moly. Uh, do you play as... Do you play as bugs? Or, or do you play as a worm? By any chance? No. One, one, one down. Me, 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 me. I don't know. God, I don't know. Pins and needles, pins and needles. Pins and needles, pins and needles. <laughs> Someone's broken your headphones. <laughs> Someone's broken your headphones. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, it is good. It is amazing. Um, pins and needles (laughs) and you knew it was exactly that in his head when somebody made it um bugs god dang it man you're on one is this a sci-fi game yes that was a dumb question in my opinion well it's bugs yeah so it's bug like aliens and it's in space is this sci-fi or fantasy oh shut up I know. Um, I'm sorry. Is it aliens? Think about the time. 1981. Think about the time. And bugs. I can't give you any hints, but... Like, seriously, my brain isn't functioning. Think about the time. 1981. Remember the time... I was, I was four years old, Daryl. I mean, think about the time. Well, you got to think about what was out then, and what was available then. That's the best advice I can give you. Bugs, though. Space bugs. Don't get hung up on that. Think about the time. And that's not a hint towards the name or anything. That just. I'm drawing complete blank. 
I don't want to help you. Is it Fester's Quest? Well, that would be four and no. No, no. You should just. I mean, if you say, as soon as you say, I'm going to be like, oh, okay. Oh, I thought this one was going to be easier for you. Honestly. Well, I just, like I said, I'm so tired, man. You're doing you good. You get God of War for Christ's sake. I mean, I know. What's that game? Yeah. Win. Is it all <laughs> uh, Let's see. Bugs, though. That's the thing. 81 Space Aliens. 81. Oh! Is it uh, is it Space Invaders? No. Damn I'm it. sorry. Is it Centipede? It's Galaga. Oh, okay. Get ready to face off against Bug Like Aliens again in the sequel to Galaxian. Oh, yeah. Galaga. Hmm. So I was. I think a better question for you to ask was this release in arcades because of how early it was. Yeah, yeah. I just couldn't think. I, I, Welcome to the future, yeah. dude. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know. The Everybody out so there. Bright, I gotta take a nap. I know, and it's Friday. I know, right? Like, come on. I got like three new games sitting on my Xbox One X sitting in my living room, and I'm like, you know, I just. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go put on some chairs. Yeah, just take a nap. Lay down for a second. And you wake up tomorrow at like seven a.m. You're like, shit. Damn it. I'm just wasting my whole Friday sleeping. I, what else am I gonna do anyway? I should catch up on my sleep. I know. Me too. Yeah. You too. Especially, especially. me. Yeah. Forty-seven hours this week, baby. Nice. Yeah. It's good check. A couple of those were fourteen-hour days, though. So. Fuck that. Fuck that. Stupid. But. I'll take my man- that money. I'll take my eight hours and my mandatory ten hours between shifts. Got to stay positive, and my trade right now it's kind of slow. So the fact I'm keeping busy is awesome. Summer, summer, summer time is coming. I know. I'm actually seeing some pretty good concerts this summer. Mm. To be honest, I'm, I'm just excited. Talking work. Oh, mm. yeah, that too. Ugh. Anyways, everybody, are we gonna go see Weird Al? I don't know. I'm on the fence. I'm kind of excited, surprised that you're not excited about that. I don't really get into him. Like I did, I do, and I appreciate him, but I didn't like fervently listen to every single one yeah, of yeah. his albums. Type thing. It's like, a weird Al, though, man. I know it's a like a music icon. I'm waiting honestly Very for something icon. a little bit more like niche, in a way. It's everything you go see. I know. I went and saw Stars Above Grayskull last night at the freaking. I love that so name. <laughs> Is that a real band? I don't know. I just made it up on the fly. Stars above gray skull. Dude, that is high five. I can do this shit all day. Somebody should just pay me to sit in a boardroom. It sounds like my new synth wave project. You should. You should name it that Stars Above Gray Skull. Mm. Could Mm -hmm. have the castle. Anybody out there that's into like electronic music but tasteful electronic music in my eyes, look up synth wave vinyl collectors on Facebook if you have it. I've discovered so much cool music on there, especially if you love video game music. Mm. And they're pretty much collectors that they will buy the vinyl pressings of the limited edition copies from the actual artists from Bandcamp. And they kind of show them off and like do reviews on them and stuff. So it, it is kind of weird, but yeah. it is kind of cool. I've discovered uh, Neon Unicorn. It sounds dumb, and it is really dumb in a way. That just some of the imagery that he has on his album. But if you listen to it, it's like a new kitschy Hotline Miami soundtrack. If you want to go there, it's not like, too goofy. Unicorn Dream Attack. I used to listen to those guys. Yeah, but they're, they're actually Christian and from Minnesota. Oh, are they Christian? I yeah, know. yeah. If you listen and read their lyrics, mm. it's pretty evident. That's neither here nor there, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you personally for sticking around with us. Ah, uh, yeah. Thanks, man. I mean, thanks, guys. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Uh, we didn't even check the email this week. We'll get to you next week. I'm sorry. It's just been one of those I things. I can't do it. No. Won't do it. We're shutting down. Shoot can't play down. with them. Thanks for sticking Won't do it. with us. We want to hear from you, Cyberbots. You can email us. Cyberlunch. Uh, <laughs> wow. We got to go. Cyberlunch1 at outlook.com or contact us via our Facebook page at Cyberlunch. Looking forward to our next lunchroom discussion. Hopefully next week. We'll yeah. see. Uh, we'll see. I'm Daryl. I'm Jake. Go Vikes.